Good day, everybody. Rebecca Erlang here. I have an urgent quick word that I need to release to the body today. Um, I'm noticing a lot of uh, spiritual attack again today. And um, I realized that uh, the word and vision that I had this morning in prayer is so um, crucial to be released as quickly as possible. So if you have, um, if you are experiencing um, any kind of spiritual attack right now in terms of fear, in terms of feeling maybe that you are overwhelmed at something that is happening in your life, um, or you uh, feel like you're getting sick and not getting better, or maybe one of your children are getting sick and not getting better, please listen to the word that I'm about to share. Okay, on Sunday in our live service, I shared a bit about the enemy's tactics and what the Father had revealed to me, what is going on right now. There is such a battle right now, understand. The enemy is pulling out all stops right now, okay, to try and hinder us, to try and make us fall, to try and make us stumble. And we really got to cling to Jesus right now in this hour. Okay, so I shared a bit about how I overcame the battle through prayer, worship, and just pressing into the Lord in, um, uh, in, in, in pursuing his truth in my life, okay. And, um, Again, the next day, I experienced more spiritual attack to the point where I felt, you know, so overwhelmed, um, not understanding what was going on. And um, again, just battling that that feeling of being overwhelmed at situations. So um, this morning, once again, I prayed and I kept pressing in and I kept pursuing the Lord. And then I was taken into this magnificent vision all right i've got to give you this vision because it just it broke the yoke immediately all right so as i was praying i had the vision and i saw jesus standing in front of me and as he was standing in front of me i noticed he was wearing something completely different he had um what looked like a, a garment on but it was thick um it was like it was winter where we were it was thick and woolly and rough, um, this, this, this garment that he was wearing, and he, and he had a tunic on even underneath. And um, immediately when I, when I saw what he was wearing, I just sensed this, um, uh, the garment represented the comfort that we find in him, um, as well as this type of authority and this, this, this roughness that comes from the Lord. I don't know how to else explain it, but um, the garment was very significant. And I'll get to that in a moment. And as I looked at him, um, I realized that behind me, there was such a horde of demons. And I was basically lying on the floor looking at Jesus. And the these, these, these demons were, were grabbing at me, trying to pull me. And I realized that this was a representation of the spiritual battle that I was enduring right now. And I felt so overwhelmed in that moment because I, I couldn't get up and I couldn't move forward and I couldn't get to Jesus. And Jesus was standing there with his hand stretched out to me and I couldn't reach him. And uh, these things were just kept, kept pulling at me. These uh, they were like um, black figures just pulling at my back and trying to pull me into the darkness. And as I was enduring this, the next thing, it, I, I, I questioned, why is the Lord not reaching out to me and, and, and coming towards me? He was just stretching out his hand, standing there waiting for me to take his hand. And that's very significant. Why was he not moving forward to me and pulling me out of that. And um, the next thing he spoke to me and he said to me, these, these words are so powerful and it hit me in my spirit. It hit me uh, in the deepest places of my spirit. He said, do not fear the darkness. Believe in the light. And in that moment, I realized that I was being overcome by the enemy because I was fearing the darkness of the enemy, the power of the enemy. My eyes were focused on what the enemy can do 
instead of on Christ. And as I looked at Jesus, his face lit up and his eyes were burning like a fiery flame as he spoke those words to me. And in that moment, as his words hit me and I realized truth, that I just needed to believe in the light. Who is the light? The light is Jesus Christ. I needed to get my faith back into the light. And as I believed, I stood up as a warrior. I stood up. I turned around and I said, enough. And as I spoke and I stood up and I turned and I faced these hordes of demons, it all just fled. Everything just back down and the light flooded in because where the light is the darkness cannot penetrate i turned around and i took jesus's hand and i realized that he is the light and he holds such power and authority and as i looked at him this time i realized that i was standing in the presence the presence of a great king that's that's why I saw this this garment that he was wearing was like a mantle, the mantle of a warrior. It's something that you would see maybe a, a warrior in the old days wear. This it's a rough type of material, um, and he was wearing it like like he was a warrior king, um, and he wanted me to become aware of him as the light, of him and his authority and his power. I was fearing the darkness when my eyes should be upon Jesus, understanding, believing in the light, believing in his power, in his might. Okay, so no, Jesus is not going to come and take you out of that battle right now. He wants you to re uh, resurrect your belief in the light again. He wants you to stand up in the middle of that battle and say, enough to the enemy enough no more no more will i fear you he even spoke to me and he said do not fear pain as i've shared um on sunday night that uh, i was overcome with fear because of the pain i had endured um during what happened to me if you want to know you need to go watch the video sunday night's live service it's all there um and i realized that i i had started fearing pain even we must not be overcome by these things, by fearing it. We must not look to what we are going through right now, whether it's us or our children that is facing it right now. We need to address it in faith by believing in the light. Okay, I want to pray for you. So, Father, I just uh, come before you today and I worship you. We serve a mighty king. You are a mighty king, O oh God, and we worship you and we believe in the light that you have sent to us, the light of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He is our warrior. He is the one who gives us strength. He is the one who gives us the ability to overcome the enemy, to stand against the hordes of hell and not be overcome by it. So Father, in the authority of Jesus Christ right now, I speak to every person who is going through a battle. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I command every spirit of infirmity to be bound right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, I speak to them and to their children, Father, and I bind every spirit of infirmity coming against them. I call it null and void. Every attack, no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against them, you will condemn, for this is their heritage as the saints of the Lord. I thank you, Father. I pray for complete and total deliverance right now. Father, ignite faith in the light of Jesus Christ within each of them right now. Father, help them to stand as a mighty warrior and rebuke every attempt of the enemy. Help them, Father, as you did me this morning, to stand against the battle right now, to speak and believe that the light is with them. 
for greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. Oh God, I speak to every warrior right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Rise up, believe in the light, and do not fear the darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you, Father. I pray right now for a mighty deliverance over your people. I pray, Father, that you would deliver those who are being overcome by fear. In Jesus' name, I bind every spirit of fear in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. I release your fire against the enemy. In Jesus' name, by your spirit, by your Holy Spirit, I pray, Father, that you would send fire into the enemy's camps. The light of Jesus Christ would make the darkness flee. Thank you, Father, for deliverance right now in Jesus' mighty name. We worship you, O God. You are our strong tower. You are our deliverer. You are the rock upon which we stand. And we thank you, Lord, that we have the authority over all the power of the enemy. Thank you, Father. Ignite faith in your army again. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray that this uh, speaks to your spirit as it did to mine this morning. And that whatever you're enduring right now, do not fear it. Do not allow fear in. Believe in the light. Believe in the light. John 1. Go and read John 1. Believe in the light. He is a great king. As I stood in his presence this morning, there was nothing that could touch me. There was nothing that could come near me. He ignited such a warrior cry within me again to stand up in this battle and say, Enough! Enough! towards the enemy. Please, if this is you, if you are going through a battle right now, stand up and say, enough. Do not take it. Realize the power that heaven has placed within you through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Believe in the light. Believe in what he is capable of doing. Stand up in the midst of the battle. Turn your face towards Jesus and believe in what he's capable of doing. All right. Blessings. Shalom.